Hi everyone and welcome to Ospro Ed. This video is for educational purposes only and please never practice medical skills without the proper credentials. So what is sepsis? Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that arises when the body's response to an infection damages its own tissues and organs. Sepsis is also a medical emergency that requires rapid treatment to increase a patient's chance of survival. From an AMC point of view, it's very, very important to identify sepsis. And let's look at some of the signs of sepsis. So in adults, there could be fast breathing or breathlessness, fevers and chills, low or high body temperatures, low or no urine output, a fast heartbeat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, confusion, sleepiness, a lot of pain or feeling worse than ever. In children, um, you could see fast breathing or long pauses in breathing. There could be blotchy or discolored skin, skin that's abnormally cold to touch, rashes that don't fade when they're pressed, infrequent wet nappies, a drowsy, difficult to wake up or a confused child. There could be restlessness or floppy limbs. There could be vomiting, fits or convulsions, and there could be a lot of pain. So the question is, ask yourself, is there a known or suspected infection? Is there a history of fevers? Is there a new onset of chest pain or shortness of breath in the abdomen? Are they complaining of pain neurologically? Is there a decreased mental alertness, headache? Any UTI symptoms like um, dysuria or frequency changes? Does the patient have risk factors like neutropenic, have chemotherapy, immunocompromised, a transplant, any recent surgery or invasive procedure, any indwelling uh, medical device or foreign body? What's the skin like? Are there any wounds? Is there cellulitis? As a junior medical doctor, you should be able to identify sepsis and whenever you come across sepsis, you need to know the sepsis bundle of care, which are six clinical actions to take within 60 minutes. So when you recognize sepsis, you need to do these six things. So these are number one, oxygen administration, number two, two sets of blood cultures, number three, VBG, number four, fluid resuscitation, number five, appropriate antibiotics, and number six, monitoring observation. These are the key things to know in order for you to pass. All the best.